Welcome back. Kerala Governor Mohammad Arif Khan stayed the appointment of CPIM leader and Chief Minister Pinaray Vijayan's private secretary, KK Ragesh's wife, Priya Varghese, as associate professor in Kanur University. Now, Governor Arif Khan has also sought a detailed report over the alleged irregularity in the appointment of Priya Varghese. Now, in a controversy that has erupted after a complaint was given by the Save University campaign, stating that UGC rules were flouted during her appointment. The complaint even said that she doesn't have the qualification and teaching experience needed to be appointed to the post. As long as I am Chancellor, there is no question that favoritism, nepotism will be allowed in the matter of appointments. As long as I am Chancellor, there is no question that favoritism, nepotism will be allowed in the matter of appointments. Vice Chancellor Gopinath Ravindran's reappointment in Kandu University is a gift given to him by the former MP KK Rajesh and his wife Priya Varghese for appointing her as Associate Professor in Malayalam Department of Kandu University. It is a clear case of nepotism and favoritism. She does not have the required teaching experience for becoming associate professor in, in any of the Indian universities in the, through the direct recruitment process. Salary also is another important concern they are targeting. So because she is getting a double the salary what she, what she is getting right now as associate, uh, for, uh, when she is becoming associate professor. It is uh, very much uh, damaging the society, education system, academic environment and uh, uh, it is a very sad experience. All right, this is some breaking news coming in on this story. Essentially, Kerala Governor uh, Arif Mohammed Khan is traveling to Ujjain via Indore. Now, ruling CPM has slammed the, this movement, saying that he's attempting to derail the government. Now, Party State Secretary Kurieri Balakrishnan has written an article in the party mouthpiece severely criticizing the governor. The governor has become the tool of the BJP and the Modi administration, which is why he didn't sign the ordinances. The governor should function as per the advice of the state cabinet, and the virulent attack is happening against federalism and constitution. Now, the center is trying to put the state government in a crisis using the governor. This is essentially what the article has alleged. Now, yesterday, the governor froze Kanur University's proposal to appoint Priya Varghese, who is the wife of CPM leader and private secretary to CM uh, KK to see the CM's aide, KK Ragesh, as associate professor. This has sparked the latest clash. Now I'm crossing over to our correspondent Neetu, who is live, and she's going to be joining us to give us more details on this clash. Now, essentially, Neetu, why? What details do we have about why the professor was appointed in the first place? See, uh, she uh, this uh, after this appointment was made, or uh, the the news came out, the Seva University campaign they had actually given a complaint towards the governor stating that UGC rules were flouted. Basically, you need a certain years of experience, teaching experience to take up this job. And their complaint was that Dr. Priya Varghese did not have this necessary years of experience and even her research period was counted as this uh, teaching experience. It was after this and several other complaints. Uh, governor had sought a report from Kanur University, VC. Yesterday, the report and it was after that the governor uh, decided to uh, to stay this appointment. So today, after uh, a day after this, in the CPM party mouthpiece, uh, Desha Bimani, uh, Kodiyari Balakrishnan, who is the CPM state secretary, has lashed out at the governor saying that governor has become a tool of the BJP and the Modi rule. And he said that this is a reason they, they are trying to put the government in a crisis. That is why they have not signed the ordinances and went on to say that the president and the governor are supposed to act on advice. Either the, the central government, the cabinet, or the cabinet. But here they are doing it entirely different. And he also went on to say yesterday that the BJP is trying to destabilize the LDF by using central agencies, the governor, and even uh, uh, on political meetings and pointed out the political murder of a CP worker, uh, I'm sorry, murder of a CP worker in Palakkad. 
Now, this is what uh, CPM uh, State Secretary Kodiri Balakrishnan has said in his uh, in, in the party mouthpiece. Now, we have to note that till now, whatever issues were there, the, go the, the, uh, the standoff between the government and the governor, they tried, the government also tried to uh, solve this issue by not escalating it further, either by the chief minister visiting or the ministers visiting and explaining to the governor. But the t from the time the governor refused to sign the order, and also um, uh, spoke out about it publicly. We are not seeing any such kinds of efforts from the government. And the CPM is now openly criticizing the government. All right, Neetu. Thank you so much for joining us and bringing us those updates. Well, that's it from me. Up next, you have my colleague Toya Singh to take you forward with the biggest stories of the day. Thanks for watching.